Hello and welcome to vlog number 122. This week I'm going to talk about the PK protocol and Parkinson's disease. I became aware of this protocol through an email sent to me in May 2017, but I only just got around to looking into it. So, what exactly is the PK protocol and how could it benefit someone with Parkinson's disease? The PK protocol was developed by Dr. Patricia Kane and is an experimental treatment for neurological disease which involves intravenous infusions of phosphatidylcholine and glutathione, a high fat nutrient rich diet that limits the intake of carbohydrates and oral supplements. The protocol is based upon the theory that in diseases classified by Kane as those of neurotoxicity which includes multiple sclerosis and PD Toxins destabilise cell membranes, which leads to dysfunctions in cell signalling and homeostasis, and neurodegeneration. Dr. Kane has claimed, according to website www.naturallivingcentre.net, that her protocol successfully reverses ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and has improved symptoms of other neurological conditions, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. The protocol is tailored to the individual but involves a number of key components. Intravenous infusions of phosphatidylcholine, sodium phenobutyrate, glutathione and folinic acid. Methylcobalamin, vitamin B12 injections and increased intake of essential fatty acids. Processed foods are eliminated. Intake of pasteurised eggs is recommended along with a cell membrane stabilising drink consisting of liquid phosphatidylcholine, evening primrose oil, whey protein, a blend of safflower and flax oil in a 4 to 1 ratio of omega 6 to omega 3, and a blend of seeds. A high fat, low carbohydrate diet, similar to the ketogenic diet, is also recommended. The website www.drrachelwest.com claims that this protocol is a new Clinically proven method for healthcare professionals to provide safe and efficient detoxification methods for the brain and the central nervous system. Although I haven't been able to find any evidence of clinical trials. Indeed, Wikipedia says there have been no clinical trials of the PK protocol for the treatment of any disease, but that one of the components of the protocol, sodium phenobutyrate, has been shown to protect the loss of dopaminergic neurons in a mouse model of Parkinson's. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.